Welcome, bienvenue, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic with Light. And today we're playing around with some weights and measures. Behind me, you see a nice balance type scale sort of thing. And we'll get to that in a second. Let's re engage the safety. But we're going to come over here to my first attempt and tell you why it's set up the way it is. So this would be one's first attempt at making a scale. You just put a bearing in the middle, put some bearings on the sides with baskets such that you've got single points of uh, force going down such that you don't have to worry about leverage. But the trouble with this sort of uh, scale is that even if you've got balanced amounts on each side, it doesn't necessarily stay balanced. And simply placing blocks affects whether or not it stays where it is or if it goes down. So if we put several on here and then take the vast majority of them off, it comes back to pretty much level. Unfortunately, there's only one over here and there's four over there. And you can do other sorts of weird, glitchy things with this sort of scale because of the friction of the bearings. Both the dynamic and static friction cause serious problems when trying to get accurate measurements of various weights. So bearing-based scales, no good. Except potentially at a larger scale, but I haven't been able to build one larger. This one, there's also a caveat, that if you leave the safeties engaged and then log out and come back, it might flip out and self-destruct. You can see some of the carnage over there. I left the safety engaged, logged out, got a drink of water, come ba came back to record, and this had fallen off. That safety was spazzing out like it had had a super suspension glitch, and it was flinging pieces of it all over the place. So don't leave the safety engaged. It's ironically dangerous. But let's get to the weights and the measures. So we push this button, it disengages the safety, all of this mass balances on that single point. So the friction in this system is really quite low. So you can get relatively fine-tuned measurements and it generally stays pretty well centered and balanced thanks to the safeties. Because you want to engage the safety whenever changing the amounts and then disengage it to see if they're the same. So in this particular case you can see that I am weightless. I cause no shift to this weight. Whereas if I add, say, a block of wood, it very slowly starts to go down on this side. It's pretty cool. But 100 concrete equals 100 tile. Medium weight and medium weight, so you'd expect them to weigh the same, and they do. It's pretty awesome. So say we wanted to balance that 100 stone with wood. Well, then we'd need a lot of wood. So, actually, let's balance those 50 tile with some wood. So if we try with 50 wood, like so, it'll be very clearly wrong. See, very clearly wrong. Say we want to try twice as much wood per tile. So two wood per tile. And there we are. Nice and balanced. Now say we wanted to know about the weight of metal. So we've got the medium weight concrete and tile equaling two wood. Now we want to try metal. Let's get rid of our tile and put down 25 metal and you're like eh, that should be fine 222 two, two. people love powers of two programmers love powers of two let's see what we get oh the metals too heavy so what about two and a half two and a half balances. So two and a half wood per 
Metal. Uh, no. Two and a half stone per metal would be five wood per metal. So five wood per metal, two and a half stone or tile per metal. So those are some of the basic weights and measures. Uh, what about stone or the, the bricks? Because the bricks are also theoretically medium weight as well. So if we had equal amounts brick and tile, we should be all set. Well, let's give it a try. So we'll get rid of the metal. We'll put down a hundred tile. And then we'll get rid of this wood. And put down the uh, bricks in its place. So we got 50, 100 bricks. Whoa, the bricks are way heavier than the tile. So let's cut it in half. Bricks are still heavier. My goodness. So let's cut it here and here. Bricks appear to be roughly that weight. They might be one heavier. But I think that's about right. Oh, yeah, because it pushed this side up. So they're about one heavier, roughly. Give it a second. One, two, three. And I pushed it down just a touch. So we've got 25 plus 15 is 41. So between 40 and 41 per 100. Yikes. That's a weird conversion ratio for bricks being heavier than tile, but... That's what we've got, that things weigh what they weigh. Can only say so much about it. So we've got the basic building blocks covered, except for barriers. So let's do a little bit of work with the barriers. Uh, they're lightweight, so we'd expect them to weigh the same as wood. Uh, did we put the safety on? We did. Okay, so we'll cut it down to 50 tile. And then for the barriers, 50 and 100. So two to one ratio, pow. Good to go. So we get the two to one between barriers and tile, just like we did for the wood. So the wood and the barriers weigh the same. The tile and the concrete weigh the same. The bricks seem to be a heavy middleweight <laughs> sort of block. And then the metal is just flat out heavy. But there are a couple of other things you might want to know the weights of for the sake of balancing. Particularly chairs and thrusters. So let's grab our driver's seat. And then we're going to use metal because that driver's seat is really heavy. So let's go with 25... I believe it's 29 metal. Oh, no, that's too heavy. Uh, oh, wait, this is 54. I want 29. Uh, you don't have to balance the weight on these things. I just do it because of my nature. So 29 is essentially the weight of the chair. It feels pretty well balanced. The chair might be a touch heavier than 29 metal, but still 29 metal for one driver's seat. And if you want to know something that's been rumored, it's that if you sit in the chair, it's even heavier. Nope. Remains unmoving. The chair gains no weight from you sitting in it. Okay, so that's the driver's seat. What about the passenger seat? You'd expect it to weigh less because, well, it's a smaller chair. And you'd be right. But how right is a whole other question. 
Um, let's see. I'm trying to remember how much it weighs, and I think it weighs that much. Yep. I remember things by shapes, so I also purposefully made the different shapes with the weights such that I could remember them better. And in this case, so we've got 25 minus 5 is 20. 20 metal for the passenger seat. So that's 29 for the driver, 20 for the passenger, and each wood, is, each metal is 5 wood. So the driver's seat is over 100 wood. Well over 100. Past 125, I think. So, yeah, whenever placing your seats, they are incredibly heavy. They can unbalance your vehicle like mad. Okay, so we've got the chairs. Let's check on the thrusters. Uh, and I didn't actually test the different engines. So let's play with those two so you can see my process of figuring out the weights of things. So the thruster, I believe, weighs about this much. There you go. So, 5 and 3 is 18. 18 wood. So let's rejigger this into just wood. So it should weigh about that much. Yep, roughly 18 wood for one thruster. Um, it's rather dangerous to test the thruster with the thrust. So, you can try that on your own. I'm not going to do it in this video. So, which weighs more, a thruster or an electric engine? Electric engine weighs way more. Okay, so this pile of wood is not cutting it. So, let's use 25 concrete. Let's see how much that does. Oh, I don't even get to show you my process. That's just how much it weighs. So 25 concrete is uh, 50 wood. We had 18 for the thruster, 50 for the electric engine. Oh, the electric engine is a little heavier than that. It's hard to see the movement, but when you throw the safety back on, you can see it push it back up. So, 26 stone? Looks like the engine is still a little heavier, but it's around this much. You can do more fine grain testing to get the exact weight. But yeah, it's still heavier on the engine side. Uh, let's try 30, just to get a nice clear picture. And it doesn't look like it's going down much at all. Does not appear to be moving. So 30 stone. 60 wood is how much an electric engine weighs. My goodness, that's heavier than I would have expected. I knew they will they weighed quite a bit because they just whenever you put them on, they make your vehicle so much heavier. Uh, does the gas engine weigh the same? No, the gas engine is lighter. Gas engine is lighter than the electric. By how much, though? Still going up. That's looking pretty good. It's moving just a little, but it's very close to 20 stone, 40 wood. Interesting. Uh, so, we've got four out of the six, so it's about two-thirds uh, the weight of an electric engine. So, in theory, 
we should be able to place two of these and three of these and have them balance. And there you go. Two electric engines weigh the same as three gas engines, which would make sense due to their shape. The electric engines are two by two by three, whereas the gas engines are two by two by two. So their density is the same, but their volume is different. There are tons of items in here to weigh. I'm not gonna do them all this episode because, well, we just don't have time. But you can see all of the various pieces of my scale here. You can make one for yourself in your own world. You can even tweak the design to get it to do more of exactly what you want. I've tried a couple of different prototypes before this one actually worked for me. Uh, the ducks up here are for the stabilization. They've got the uh, suspensions on them, just such that it isn't such a hard push into the beam. Right over here, we've got the controller that tells the ducks what to do. 9180, uh, 9180-90 is just a simple piston type movement from here, pushes it straight over two blocks, which pushes one block into position, one block to tense the suspension. Um, when making the overhead uh, beam, you just set it on one of these protector rods and then build it across, build all of the basket tree, and then get rid of this block here and it'll lay perfectly balanced right in the middle. And that's pretty much all there is to the uh, weights and measures here in Scrap Mechanic. If there's anything in particular you really desperately want measured, feel free to leave a comment. I can look into it. But yeah, just build it for yourself. Exploration, getting used to making these things, and there's probably a way of making this even better. This is just my design. I like the way it looks. I like the way it functions. And it reveals some interesting information. So I will see you in the next episode of Scrap Mechanic with Light. And remember to disengage the safeties before logging out. <laughs> <laughs>